I just made coffee. I just woke up and decided to bring some of my peas downstairs to my garden and kind of like introduce my new idea that I recently woke up with. I've been making kind of like sculptures that are meant for almost like magical ritual use and not only with sculpture but also with painting and jewelry and props all kind of things and then I realized that most of the art I make is meant to be used in a sacred way and I thought that if I could share some of my work for people that are inspired to make magic from home and to to use these artwork this creation on their altar and work with different energies and how I personally do it if I'm going through um, a time where I'm constantly transforming and I want to get insight and I want to get revelation I will make my altar and draw an oracle card and place an object that represent on feeling or an object that I feel could help me dealing and processing with these energies but everything is very abstract I don't really find specific meaning in what I'm doing I'm just I'm just intuitively going with the flow and art for altars is just something that you feel drawn to something that you feel I don't know why but I feel that object or that symbol resonate with me something interesting and what if I work with it Could it help me? Could it bring me inspiration? And that's how I do my work. Uh, I am inspired all the time and different symbols find me at different times of my life. So I just wanted to introduce a little bit art for altars. What is it? And recently I made these cat sculptures and they're just very experimental. I painted my cat because my cat has been a bridge of love in my relationship she has given me so much more than I could put into words I was very close um, I could not express intimacy and my cat just came as a spirit almost like a child that opened my heart to be a motherly loving woman and that helped me so much in my relationship so from this one you can paint it and I engrave it the name of my cat in it and she has like all these colors in her fur so I kind of like went and played with the caramel color she has, the red, the black, and 
made her into my altar. So also I feel like it's very important to to be grateful in life and to to say thank you and to when life is like very intense and you're busy thinking about what doesn't work if you are just focusing on what works in my life what are the gifts that I have that have transformed my entire existence and when you put your energy into that other gifts comes along the way that repeat that vibration that you just tapped in you concentrated on something beautiful and that is so important and the altar is almost that is a remind you it's to remind you that you can feel magic in life you can create your own magic and you see it you see how magical is your altar and that is a reflection of you you've created that and if you want to if you want to transform your own piece and start with an object I've made and add wings to it or add colors to it they are kind of like very raw almost like primal ancient objects that's how I like the look of my work I don't want to make it look modern. I want it to look like it was on this planet for like thousands and thousands of years. That is my aesthetic. When I do a skull, I like it to be like ancestral. I like it to have like textures and stones and crystals. I like to add soil and sand and make it look like it was here a long long time ago and it can bring me wisdom and it is a symbol of life it is not a symbol of death at least for me and also i want to art for altar is also a place where you come for inspiration if you have lost inspiration, you don't know where to start, um, maybe you can find inspiration here. Sometimes I just draw very simple things on paper. And this is just kind of like my makeup look. That's all I like to do my eyes. And that can be just like what is an eye for you? What does it represent? And you have this table at home and you, you draw something very large and you focus your magic on that symbol and you align your crystals, you light a candle. So you don't need to make something very complicated for your altar. You can also just draw with a Sharpie on on a piece of paper just to get you started and I believe that it is so important to have a place in your home that is sacred that you dedicate thoughts and that you reconnect your soul to this earth that you ground yourself that you take time to light the incense that you take time to to be inspired and creative and sensual and you play music you you can sing to your altar you can do whatever inspire you on that day and almost every day I go back and I have many altar and they change all the time so it's very exciting and yeah that is just a small introduction I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee and think about if there's anything else I want to add to this. Um, oh yeah, an altar can be 
in the garden. It can be in your bedroom. It can be in your living room. It can be anywhere you want. It can be small, it can be large. You are the creator. And let me know if you have any question or you, you can also let me know what do you use for your altar. but I'm so happy that I get to share my art and it means a lot to me so thank you so much for for watching and uh, please let me know if there's anything that you have questions or what is your what inspires you in making your own altar at home I would love to know